one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and what I got here for you today is the exterior video of this absolutely beautiful Chevy Astro van it's about a hundred and three thousand I'll show you the miles when I get in it and we'll do a quick test drive I don't usually leave them running um, I hate having my shadow in these things too I'm sorry but it's gonna be a once around then I'll show you any quick up close you can see some paint peeling just the clear coat on that one fender that's the only paint damage on it I was gonna get it fixed but I didn't want to have any paint work done on it, so I left that like it is. A couple dings and stuff like that, but other than that, straight and nice as can be. I left it running today because Lily is in the van, and I was leaving her in there while we did this because she wanted to stay in there. Um, so she's staying in there for a little while, and I'm going to be out six minutes out here doing a walk around, and then we'll get in there and do it to it and do it to it and do it to it. That's that. Beautiful van. If you're looking for one, stop it and call me. 406-546-8748. Make sure and subscribe. I've got thousands of videos here on YouTube. Um, actually, she's wanting to get out now. She wants to come see what's going on, guaranteed. Yep, and she hears me talking and doing the videos, so she wants to get out. I'm gonna show you underneath. Check my website, oneownercarguy.com. Oh, she's just getting down playing. She's got a little toys in there and stuff. Okay, hopefully, I will be just super clean on the lead. Um, super clean on top. And I'm going to go up close, show you any minor damages and stuff right now. Um, little scuffs and stuff you'll find like this. Um, little stinky, dinky stuff there. Lights are in good condition. The chrome stuff's all in good condition. The grill looks great. Um, scratchy here. A couple little scratches in the hood. Um, tiny. And this part is the worst part on the whole car. It's the paint chipped off, or the clear coat chipped off of this, and the base coat going. And it's really nice because you could just paint right to that line. Well, I didn't hear you, so yes, you can come with me. Let's go. And we'll talk about any little problems in this car. So just stick with me and we'll do it to it. So I was telling them about the clear coat that's missing. Yeah. Not bad. That's what it is. And we'll show you more. And we'll show There's you more. A tiny cut. <laughs> There's a tiny cut right there. She's got this down. She knows what it is. A little mark there of some sort. And going down the side, it's straight as can be. See if you can find a ding anywhere, Lily. I don't see, oh wait, there's one right here. It's a ding right here, a little scratch here. And we're gonna go down and show you, there's a couple little marks here. Ding right there, a couple little marks and dings along the edge there. A little scratch here, and we're gonna go back down at it, ding right here. And we'll look down this side. S ding. Scratchy ding. And I don't think, you know there's a little ding here. Maybe I missed one, but that's pretty much it. It's pretty straight. Wheels on this truck, van, what have you, are just great. Plenty of tread on the back tires here. I wouldn't rate them at new or nothing. They've still got some kitties on the side and everything. Front's got tread, everything's got tread. They are a set of Kumho Solas. Um, this one's getting a little bit of wear. It is, is something wrong here? Oh, the space, that's to where it can adjust. Um, and you got a little bit of paint wearing off right here. It's a little faded, a couple chips going around here, stuff like that. Same thing here. I didn't want to get into painting or redoing any of that. You got something on the other side? Let's check it out. A little faded on the back here, a little scratch here. Bumper's clean. A couple little scratches along the bumper there. And there, thank you. Oh, a little crack here. Must have gouged something and done that. That's like it is. Now both sides. Yeah. Hang on one sec. She's helping out too. A little rubber piece on this. And it's missing from this side. A little screw holes for it. And this side has, is very clean, but there's some scratches. Very clean, but there's some scratches right here. Yeah. You see any dings, Lily? Uh, dings. Ooh, that is dings. Uh, it's a little scratchy scratch. Ding. Ding? That's a scratch. Tiny scratch here. Is this here? It's just very light. Some of this might buff out. A little scratch, some chips. I see a ding. There's a ding right here and a ding right here. See, that's a scratch Ooh. and a ding. Very small, insignificant. You can't see them unless you really start looking, but they're there and I want you to know. Let's look at the top. I like to show the tops on these so you can see how good the paint is up here. And it is good. We just didn't wipe it down like that. Uh, it's wearing off the middle rods a bit. What? Get off the bumper. I know I left. And there's footprints on the bumper somebody left. Yeah. Me? Okay. And a couple little 
spot starting up on this is kind of lighter on the hubcaps, I guess I'd say. Um, I don't know, 40-50% tread left. And it's a nice matching set. Um, that's about all the, oh wait, ding right there. That's about your body damage for it. There's not a lot of body damage or anything on the truck. Um, bumper covers in the front are in great shape. Maybe a slight bit faded, but you really can't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, the chrome stuff could be shined out. Oh, thank you, Lily. Could be shined up a little more. Oh, thank you. Little chip marks right there. And that's that. I'm going to back up, look at it, and see if I missed anything. Actually, we'll take a picture of Lily. Lily, let's take a picture for the thing. I'm going to turn this off. Be right back. Okay, so that is your exterior review. I'm going to... Yay! I'm going to go around it one more time. I was going to tell you... A little mark right here. Kind of something in the paint. Maybe drip down from, yeah, that's dipped down from the mirror there. But I um, like to clean. And she likes to clean. And these are a little dry. I thought I could paint them or something. Mm. But they are a little dry. A little scratchy. Yeah, we've seen that one maybe. Just little insignificant stuff. And this side is not chipped up or anything like the other is. Very clean, actually. <laughs> um, little ding right there. Mm. Glad I've seen that, actually. I like to make sure and show you what is wrong. And there ain't much to talk about wrong with this car. Um, car, van, truck. Okay, Lily, let's do it. Uh, plenty of room. I'll do an interior video here in a minute. Get your seatbelt on. I'll be right. Hi, everybody. Well, I'll be around to the other side. We're gonna take them on a test drive. The handles are a little faded. She has fun doing it. She's got a channel. If you want to subscribe, it's Best Kid Me. I don't have any uh, videos on there yet, but we'll be putting them up in the coming weeks. In fact, I might put a link or make a video about her channel on my channel for her to have about her channel. Does that make sense? It might not make sense, but it's the way it's going. Okay, 105, 934 right now. That's what there is. AC blows cool, but it's not ice yeah, cold. Really need to watch my video. You really need to watch her video. That's right, look on the channel. There's a ch video on my channel. It's called Santa Isn't Real. And check that out. We did that one. And we did another one too. I forgot what the name of it is. She's actually in there in quite a few little vlogs. Um, but great van. Everything is just hunky dory. I'm going to take you down the road a little bit and show you how she drives. And it's a nice driver. Really nice driver. These little 4.3s and these vans are one of the coolest little reliable six-cylinder motors. Cheap to work on. Older stuff, so really cheap on parts. And that's that. Um, I'll do an interior video next. It won't be up for a week or so after I've done this, but I always get calls on these forever after I have them up. And if it's sold already, I do get these all the time. So, like, my last one was, well, it was even a lot more money. It didn't have that little spot on the fender, but it only had 68,000 miles. This one only has 105. Um, actually got the books. Tired. You're tired. You're working so hard. I'll tell you, Lily. It's, it's a rough life. I don't know how you handle the stress. All the bills, running these kids around to school. How do you do it? We're going on the other side of the road here. So I've got this thing strapped around my hand here. And that's the deal. Drives nice around the curve. Seems to have really good shocks and all. Has nice acceleration, nice braking. Up shifts and down shifts, great. Um, steering wheel cover, I don't know. Some people might want to take that off. I just want to tilt it down a little bit. You got it. Okay. Man, this is your test drive. That's all I got to say. There's, um, one, one of these cars have a big truck. I saw it It was on a big truck, one of them? Yeah. It might have been when we sold a long time ago. About five months. And it left on a big truck. So, 
Nathan, 406-546-8748. You can reach me anytime. OneOwnerCarGuy.com for all sorts of older classic in 80s, 90s, early 2000 type cars. Thanks, steers nice, drives nice, just smooth as butter. That's sad. Okay, I'm gonna take you back to the place, talk about my car a little bit, tell you to make sure and subscribe. I got thousands and thousands of videos on here. This is the worst time for me to be doing a video, but it's the time we're doing it. Just nice, clean, driving truck, man. And I say truck, it's a van. I know it's a van. You always say about cars. I know, I usually am doing a car. Downshift, upshift. Man, the truck, it goes. It goes. Now, have I ever floated that hard? Can no. Just talk about but I cars? wanted to see, talk about regular stuff. These people want to buy a car, Lily. They already have a car. They already have a car. Well, they, they need another one. Then, why don't you say that they need another one? They don't need another one. You need another car. You need another car. That's what Lily's saying. Lily, wasn't it regular stuff when we talked about Mary Poppins today and went, got to go see Mary we Poppins? We watched Mary Poppins. We sure did. This movie today. Just came out today. December 19th. A day in Mary Poppins infamy. Okay, I'll clip this on in a second here. Okay, we're back on the road. Lily just reminded me while the camera was off that she was trying to get Google on her new little laptop we bought her because she wanted to see what chocolate covered ants looked like. I remember they used to have them at the grocery store back when I was a kid. I don't even know if they have anything like that in the stores anymore. But I was thinking about looking on Amazon. They gotta sell that on Amazon. We're gonna get some chocolate covered ants for Christmas. That'd be a Come fun on, little gag. Come on, she says. She doesn't want that. Well, well you can have that with Katrina. <laughs> Me and Katrina can have that. Katrina's mom. Katrina's her mom. That's my woman. I just not saying that all the time, Nathan. No, I can't stop saying that. I'm very proud of that. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to him and stuff. If you want, you can hang out right here on the step again or whatever. I'll be just a little while. Or you can walk with me, whatever you want. Okay, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, I've got just the parenting thing here, and I'm sorry if you weren't all into me driving with her. That's like, and why are you talking about that? You know, well, that's just Mary Poppins is what happened today, so that's what I was talking about. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, <laughs> whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Great car. Watch the entire one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. and Lily's here. Yeah, and scratching the floor. She scratched a hole right in the floor. Beautiful van, 1995 or 1996. Check the eBay ad. It's got 105,900 miles on it. It's in great shape. Um, I went around the outside, showed you the outside. It's got a little clear coat peel right there on the fender. And besides a ding or a scratch here or there, that's all there is to talk about on this beautiful Astro van. This will be the quick walk around in the evening time so you can see the paint in the no sun type shadow type thing. And then I'm going to go inside and show you the inside and all the interior. And then we'll just kind of hop on the road, do a test drive, show you some functionary type things on the options, and call it good. My name is Nathan. It's OneOwnerCarGuide.com. Check out my channel, subscribe, and, and like, like a couple videos. Marshmallows and cereal. Marshmallows and cereal, that's right. You can check out CerealMarshmallows.com, the website. But other than that, people are ringing me and stuff, and they need to watch out because we're doing a, a video right now. So, interior video. Let's see how this looks here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful on the inside, on the outside. I'm going to show you. She's going to wear a hole in that concrete over there. I'm going to show you this. I'll pop my phone on to where you can see the light. It's great shape. The carpets, the rugs, the plastic, the vinyl, whatever you want to call it. Lock, unlock, but missing on this side. And so it needs a little, break my phone trying to push that. Um, pedals, not a lot of wear, in great shape. Formats, just in great shape. Carpets, all that. There's your mileage. 
105. I hope you can see that. Um, dash, great, great shape. Headliner, great shape. Seats, yep, you know, I'm going to say it. Um, even the plastic here in it. The truck just looks great. And I say truck. It's a van. I say truck. Lily's going to help show me the back, I thought. To show you guys the back, I thought. I don't know. She's a little busy now. She's doing construction, I guess. Rear hatch release works. And let's look at this. Let us look at this. Lots of room. Needs wiper blade in the back. I know that for sure. i just seen it. It's in great shape. Great shape. Look at this, man. Beautiful. Carpets are great shape. Everything about. I'm trying to find something. But I'm, you're late. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's okay. Right. <laughs> well, it's like a Lego piece. Okay, so this is the deal. Nice and clean. She wanted to show that you can lay down in it and have all kinds of room, even though the, the back's not even open there. It's just you could take the seats out and haul lumber in it. So that's the deal. Clean, clean on the back door panels and everything. Interior. Here, look at this. The backs of the seats. I don't even think they've ever this held anything back even here. even cooler so you can put stuff in the beach. That's right. You could take your tents and stuff. Okay, let's go. And the opening lever on that is broken. Is there Sorry. anything in that one? What's in there? Uh, can you reach that? Where? No gold coins? Nope. I can see. I'll let you out the front. I'll let you out the front. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> okay. Like I say, interior, all your floor mats, great condition. Um, put this down here for now. Show you the seat. The seats are just, need I say wonder, dare I say wonderful. Back seat, same deal. Rear air, and I'm gonna go around and show you the motor. You getting out or staying in? Um, I'm getting out. Okay, she's getting out. Clean, clean truck. Check out the exterior video, which is on here somewhere. And echo, let me, echo, echo, echo. Let me pop the hood from this side. It's actually, right there. That's what made it really easy. Look at these seats. Great shape. Look, it doesn't even look like the armrests have been used much. A little wear on that one. I think it's what your glove box would be. Still got the... Look at this. It's even got the video. Hello, guys. She's helping today. Her mom's still at work. We've seen Mary Poppins, so it's and quite the day. My mommy. And she really misses her mommy. That's just what Sniffles happens. Sniffles again, Nathan. Sniffles again? Well, we'll be back in a second. Look at that. Just beautiful. That's what you're looking at here. Here's the original brochure for the... It's a 95. I thought it was. So let me do this. Show you this. That's what we got. I'm going to clip this off. Take a picture. Be right back. Okay. Little wear mark in the seat right there. It's where, That's the only area besides a little split right there that I've seen in this. You know there's a wear mark here, too. Where? Oh, we looked at the outside. The handle's a little... And the dash. We got the parrots coming. Oops, sorry. Feet. Where's the parrots? The parrots. You can hear them. Lights and all work. Actually, the, the holder is not broken for it, which is amazing. Or is it broken? Nope, it's not. I just don't want to go in there. And I don't want to force it right now. Great shape. There's a couple of these things in here which is for I forgot let's show you under the hood I'm gonna hang this around my neck I'm sorry it just bounces around we got wild parrots in San Diego oh you missed it were they flying yeah. they're pretty huh you missed it. okay so under the hood there you go Okay, let's clean, it. clean, clean. Even got an AC Delco battery. And there's no sniffles. Bump my camera there. Showed you the AC Delco battery. So clean. The only thing you can pick out on this thing is a piece of tape down there. Look at that. Just a little piece of tape on there. That's it. That's the only thing. Clean, 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 clean. Nothing to look at. Look at how clean this is down there. Look at that. Beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Even the insulation, the padding up here is in great shape. I put a fuel pump in this, so you won't have to do that. That's one of the number one things that does go out on these old Astros like this. Get this put up, kerchunk. Okay, that's that. Lily, let's get in and go show them down the road how this thing does. You got to get up right now because we're going. Look at the moon with the parrots. Yeah, buddy. It's a beautiful night. Okay. If you see Delta. It's a sunset. It's almost night. Um, I believe this thing has a tow package for brakes right there. Okay. Starts up great. Runs great. Okay, so. Fires right up. AC and stuff is nice. It's cool. It's not ice cold like it should be. Um, mirrors. This side. Out. In. Up. Down. This side. Up. I knew it worked. Down. The in and out's not working. Something wrong with the switch there. Interior lamps, door and off. Uh, when you open your doors, it's got a bulb out or something in the back. Um, wipers are good. And other than that, um, turn my blinker off. Ooh. And this is fine. This one has to switch out or something. I can get that fixed very cheap for you. Um, very clean inside. I showed you all this. See, you got a fuse out or something. I may do an update to this or something. I can fix anything you want to fix on it. Um, relatively cheap to work on these. Now these things close up and people need to detail better. Detail better, I tell you. So we don't even get a good detail on them. We just get a a somewhat okay detail and it still looks awesome that's how this looks awesome okay lights cameras action all that good stuff one owner car guy one owner car guy .com, and you can check my channel here cereal marshmallow subscribe all that good stuff and we actually got a lot done today both the interior and exterior and seen Mary Poppins She's just tired now, and she's worked hard here, helping me wipe this thing down a little bit, and do these videos. But I'll tell you, Mary Poppins will wear you out. Two hours and twelve music, two hours and twelve minutes of music and dancing, and yeah, it's an interesting movie. It was fun to go see, but it's it's a long movie, very long movie. Okay, so what else can I say about the interior? Interior lights on the interior there work. Um, there you go. How about that? Huh. So why didn't they work like that? I'll bet you it's a little switch on the inside of the door. It's not letting it over. That's what it is. Okay. Good running van. Good running van. Ooh, my brights. And ultra reliable. These vans are just ultra, ultra reliable. Always have been, always will be, and they're cheap to work in. They put these 4.3s in all the little S10s, all the S10 Blazers, these Astros. Heck, they even put these um, 4.3s in half ton pickup trucks. So, quite the, the availability of parts. And a lot of the things on this, like the, the fuel pump, is so cheap parts are so cheap sometimes the labor is just so much more than what the parts are uh, like a fuel pump on this it take you four or five hours maybe to do it three to five hours depending on your skill level but I think the fuel pump for one of these is like between seven dollars to sixteen dollars online on Amazon which is just absolutely pathetic try and look up a, a fuel pump for a brand new van that you costs yeah, I don't even want to get into guessing. It's gonna cost a lot. 
Okay, shocks, everything feels good. Um, you know, when you turn your blinker on, you gotta manually turn it off and on. The auto returner unblinker doesn't really do it. Um, this guy just did the oil and it's due at 109, it says. 321 of 18. And it's set for a little while with a bad fuel pump one before I got it. Man, this thing is a nice running rig. I need something like this just to haul around things in for my business. Uh, I was gonna take this off just to see what's under it. I can feel a little bit of chunk out of the foam up there. So there is a little wear. You might replace it or something. I don't know. The van's clean. I'll replace the wheel for you if you want. That's, yeah. Lots of things you could do, but overall, this is one of the, this is the cheapest Astro you're gonna find. Definitely give me a call if you're interested. It's 406-546-8748. Cheapest Astro you're gonna find for the miles, for the shape, for what it is, I got the best deal around. That's what I'm saying. I had a guy wanting to give me like nothing hardly for my 68,000 mile one, and it was a cream puff. And like he's comparing it to like 350,000 mile ones. There's just no comparison. This is a 100,000 mile deal. This thing isn't even, it's barely, it's not even broken in. It's not even broken in. Made it here perfect in time for this, I think, which is very rare for me. Usually, it's not this timing. We're almost in, Lily. How's that? God, oh, Jesus. She was happy to start with us, but by the time this gets going, it's a grueling process to walk around this thing and take pictures twice, and then on top of that, just the whole thing. It's, it's videos twice. It's a 45 minute, 55 minute job, and I'll tell you what, to have a seven year old with you that does so good and helps you out and doesn't get all, man, she is great at helping out. SL, Durango, Explorer, Range Rovers, and cab Mercedes limos and W124s and and like um oh yeah infinities and beamers you, yeah, that's Lily's limo right there we call it the office because sometimes she just comes out here and watches videos on her laptop or my phone in it man there's all kinds of old nice classic stuff in here I'm gonna get out give you an outro say goodbye um, I'm actually going to yeah Lily's gonna get out too and we'll do it to it okay well thank you for watching thank you for everything I'm gonna let her out here say goodbye to you first. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Check the um, uh, eBay listing, check my website, one owner car guy, and definitely subscribe, add me, all that stuff on YouTube. Click the notification bell if you haven't because you ain't getting notified if you don't click it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk.